Grand Rising, everybody. Grand Rising. Um, this is an individual video. I wanted to let everybody know about manifestation and how I manifested $60,000 in my life. Now, um, a lot of people have read The Secret and a lot of people have um, researched you know, I can only personally say how um, it worked for me and how I manifested $60,000 to come in my life. One of the few things I used to do, I, I, I still meditate. And but if you're not a student of the game, you know, you have corners sometimes that you take uh, when it comes to this manifestation thing. You have to really believe what's uh, what you believe. You have to really believe that you deserve uh, X amount of dollars. You have to remember is that you have to keep in mind on how you want to receive it. I could have said, oh, I want $60,000 from anywhere. Well, sometimes when you get money in certain situations, it can literally come from anywhere. It can come from a bad wreck. It can come from a relative dying. The universe doesn't know any different. The energy that you are attracting to that specific goal, to that specific um need that you're putting out there it just knows it's going it's going to align everything that you need to get that i made sure that when i said i wanted sixty thousand dollars that i wanted to come from something that i provide something that comes from my career something that comes from me helping another individual i didn't know how i was going to get it i did not know how i was going to get this sixty thousand i knew that i wanted that i made that statement of saying hey i want it from a service i don't want and i made sure to eliminate all thoughts of getting it in a bad way getting it from someone dying getting from me getting hurt you gotta you gotta focus on the good so i wrote it down i made a vision board i literally put bam a better career at the time i was finishing up my master's um and i knew that i wanted to get make more money after i got my master's now this is about 18 so i'm scratched the 19 this is about 2000 18 um a lot of big transitions happened to my life getting out of relationships i was um finding myself i was trying to use my degree i just knew that i wanted to make more money be more stable and be uh have a better mindset went to the vision board i put six thousand dollars next i put being my dream career uh i my master's in hr I am a people person. I don't like to be around a lot of people, but when I do, my whole ultimate goal is to help the next person because I believe in paying it for HR, 60,000 HR, um, happiness, move away. I knew I wanted to be in a predominantly black area, which landed me into being in Atlanta. When you want that, you have to also align yourself. You can't just say, oh, I want 60,000 sit in the house with no job, with no goals and not try to get a little step closer. You got to help the universe out. So with that being said, I ended up getting my master's. I ended up uh, redoing my resume. I became a professional resume writer. Um, and I ended up only applying to what will allow me to get in 60,000 and my degree. Recruiting, talent acquisitionist, all of that. So with me doing that, I started to help the universe align myself with what exactly what I wanted to do. Next thing you know, I'm getting a call. I'm sitting miserable in a job in North Carolina right now. Just finished my degree. Knew I was better. Knew I wanted better. Let's do that. Knew I wanted better. Knew I deserved better. Did not know how I was going to make this move. Did not know how I was going to get this 60000 Did not know how I was going to get in a predominantly black city. I just knew I was going to get it. You have to feel that shit. Like You really got to feel like I'm going to get there. Don't know how. Let's not worry about that. Let me do every step that I do to get to that point. I get a call from my current employer asking me for an interview for an HR position. Y'all, I didn't apply. I don't remember applying to them. Even to this day, I went through all my Indeed. I have three or four emails, you know, bills, personal, resumes, all this kind of stuff. And plus my fitness. I did not apply to my job. But she had my resume, she had my degree, and she said I had two days to either come down to Atlanta to come to this interview. Guess what? And she told me how much I was making. 
I said, okay, well, I knew I wanted to be recruiting and staffing or whatever. I thought it was a temp. And I was like, no, but sometimes you just got to make that break. You just got to get in there and be like, okay, I'm going to make the sacrifice. It's going to, this position is going to get me to where I want to be. So she told me I had either Friday. She called me on Thursday. She said she had openings on a Friday and Monday. That's it because she's going out. Of and I asked her, hey, is this what you, is this what I'm making plus bonuses? She was like, yeah. I was like, all right, this is more than what I asked for. And I just believed I left work Thursday. Now, matter of fact, I that Friday morning, I got up at three o'clock this morning, leaving from North Carolina. My interview was at 10. Coming to Atlanta was not a, not a new thing to me. This ain't a new rodeo. So I had to at least allot myself two to three hours coming from that way to make it to um, right outside Marietta. Now, again, I'm coming from North Carolina. I think I was in Greensboro at that time. Greensboro to Cobb County. Y'all, I left at 3 o'clock in the morning, got here. I got here by 8. Interviews at 10. I pulled up 20 minutes before the uh, interview. I was earlier than her. Had everything I needed. Had all I-9 paperwork just in case. I pulled everything together. The interview lasted every bit of 10 minutes. I killed it. And, she, and I asked her, hey, when will I know? Well, it's a, usually a second interview right now, but the boss, she's in and out. Um, we're gonna call you on your way back to North Carolina. But not even two hours on a row, she told me I had the job. When can I start? I told her two weeks. And I made more than what I originally manifested. With that being said, I aligned myself. Immediately, I put my two week notice in. They didn't, they didn't let me work my two weeks. I worked a week. So then I saved my money. I came down two days later, trying to find a place to stay. Applied, approved. Moved down my stuff, left majority of my stuff, moved down here, started work. And that's how it happened. Manifestation works. Your mindset works. Let me tell y'all something. If you out here having any doubt in your abilities, the universe is going to feed more of that. If you're saying that you're fat, you're going to be, be more fat. If you're saying that you're stupid, you're going to be more stupid. If you're saying that you're broke, you're going to be more broke. The universe doesn't know. It only gives you more of what energy you place into those things. I wanted an HR job. Didn't know where it was coming from. All I knew I was applying for them. I knew that I wanted to make 60000 or above. Didn't know where it was coming from, but I knew I deserved it. I focused on that. I didn't focus on, oh, well, I'm in a different situation. Oh, I live uh, five or six hours away. Oh, how I'm going to pay my bills. I didn't worry about all that. I, I had to make this risk on coming down, moving to Atlanta, getting my dream job, and everything will follow. 60000 to some, I'd be like, oh, that ain't no money. I'm not a money-hungry person. I've been in situations, more money equals more problems. I am a simple-ass person. To pay my bills, not live paycheck to paycheck, and go on trips, that's been working for me. That's been working for me. My success and my own thing is not being money-hungry. What's worked for me is not being greedy. I get more double blessings not being greedy. So uh, I came out here to say this. Your mindset is what you become. Manifest what you become. That means if you think you're in debt, you keep saying, oh, I'm, I'm not going to ever get out of debt. You're not. Stop saying that. Your money is allocated in different areas right now. Your your current situation isn't, isn't uh, it's set in stone. You have to set yourself up universe will follow through you have to set yourself up you can't be sitting at home thinking a oh, good job will land in your lap what have you done to set yourself up for success i went on here to rant babe gonna be on here soon to say her her thing how she manifested her her jobs how she manifested her talents um me manifesting um my personal training and being able to get more clients atlanta is saturated everybody's a personal trainer but what can you do differently the military had me out. I'm a militant trainer. I'm a total body. I I believe in working out the mind and the body. That's worked for me. Until I decide to do that full time, then it'll always be part time. I'm not ready to go all the way full time right now. I have other things allocated that I'm trying to do in my life. So the moment, guess what? The moment I decide, hey, that's full time. Guess what? The universe is going to align me for let that be full time. It is really that simple. So listen. I'm going to come back here and tell y'all more stuff that's worked for me. Law of attraction, manifestation, just creating a higher self and more self-awareness. Um, 
yeah, and I'll be, be, be ready for that. The next thing with next thing on my list of manifestations right now is creating a family. And I believe it. I don't have no doubt in my mind that I'm not going to have two beautiful kids with my wife. Like, I have no doubt in my mind. And guess what? You have to do the work. So we set ourselves up for that work. So y'all be easy. Be blessed. Leave comments down below if y'all have really manifested and seen it turn around on what you manifested. Write down, comment below. Um... Uh, what things ask me some more questions what have i done that has worked for me in law of attraction you know um and until then y'all be blessed